Get all your Dragon Ball Super Broly figures at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description down below. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collector. Steven here, and I'm back with another Dragon Ball Figure Arts review for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta. Or Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. I mean, Super Saiyan Blue is much easier. Now, this release sees the first canon appearance of Gogeta in action figure format, and fans have been dying to get Gogeta in the SH Figure Arts line. Now, we don't get the Super Saiyan head or the Fusion Reborn colors, but to be honest with you, that's okay because this version of Gogeta rocks. Now, we get an alternate head and plenty of hand parts, but a lot of folks are wondering if this guy might suffer from some quality control issues. Well, I got some good news and bad news for you. So let's take a look to see whether or not he's worth adding into your collection. Before we get the review started, I just want to let you know I had a whole lot of fun taking some pictures of Broly and Gogeta. Way too many to fit in the review. So I posted them all up on my Patreon. So if you want to check those out, head on over there to check out the gallery and you can see plenty of shots reimagined, some new scenarios, and a cool what if picture today. Link will be in the card in the top right hand corner of the screen or in the description down below. Let's get to the review. Gogeta here in concept has a lot of strong selling points. We have a nice shiny hair paint application which looks good. Overall we do have a nice clean looking face which is good. We have some shading overall. The colors look very accurate to what we saw in the movie which is astounding. But when we get down to the actual execution level we do have a couple of things that they at least could have tightened up just a smidge in the factory along with one rather subtle quality control issue that is apparent to some only when it's mentioned. And then once it is, it's going to bug you. So what works with Gogeta, what doesn't? Well, first and foremost, the sculpt is killer. This definitely looks like the Gogeta we saw on the screen where we have a nice fusion of Goku and Vegeta here. So to the sculptor, props to you. However, on the default face right out of the box, if you take a close look here, specifically where the two eyebrows dip down, the right eyebrow is lower. That's right. The decals are messed up for the default faceplate. Bandai. This is not the SH Monster Arts line. Come on. Now, the yellow on the collar for the vest, we can deal with a little bit of bleed over for the paint. That's something that's rather okay because it's a smaller detail, not huge, but come on, you can't mess up the face. Nah. At least the sculpt for all them muscles on the torso look great. And there's a nice little bit of subtle shading to help bring out some of those details on Gogeta's skin. Where they went a little bit overboard though for the shading would definitely be on the pants. In some areas it actually looks like they, uh, they missed a couple of spots on mine looking like little chips and it definitely is a bit of an eyesore. Gogeta looks dirty in some spots, but it does help to enhance the sculpt a little bit, and for that, I do have to give them a bit of kudos there. Overall, Gogeta definitely does have a lot of things that are going for him, like that nice actual blue hair paint application, not some sort of teal color that's been used in the actual Dragon Ball Super anime, but he definitely does have some drawbacks we just have to accept. Time for articulations with Gogeta, and if you are familiar with Goku figure arts, at least the 2.0 body styles, then you are already pretty much familiar with Gogeta. Couple of changes which make him a bit better, and uh, some that, uh, well, don't. What do we have? Well, the head attaches in the neck on a ball joint first and foremost. This way we can wiggle the head around. And then there is a hinge there, so this way we can move the head forward and back, make him look up and down. And that can also swivel around. So lots of great movement uh, to get him to look down and in all sorts of different directions, except due to the hair and the collar up. So thanks to just that, we can't really look up too far. And also, if we get him to look down a certain amount, yep, just like Gotenks. So that's a little concerning there. But the neck is plugged in on a ball joint as well, so we can get Gogeta to look down a little farther. 
rock from side to side a bit more. So not really all that helpful, but it just adds a little bit more. Now, when we move on to the arms, we do have the shoulder pads, which are on ball joints. So this way they have a lot of movement, much better than what um, some of the Goku-like releases will have. So that's pretty cool. Then moving on to the shoulders, we do have awesome butterfly hinges. So this way Gogeta can definitely get a Kamehameha there. You'll see that in some photos coming up, which is always good. We do have ball joints where the arms plug in on the shoulders. Now, this is one issue with how the shoulder pads are done because of the way that they are plugged in here on the back of the shoulders. Uh, yeah, that kind of breaks up the symmetry. So if he's going to go do the Stardust Breaker uh, for whatever reason, yeah, it's not going to look all that great, but still. I guess it's okay. We can we can play pretend. We do have a hinge in the shoulders, so this way we can do that. We can get him to T-pose. We do have a bicep swivel, double hinged elbow. Nice range of movement. And then for the figure arts wrist style joint, we do have a swivel, a hinge, and a ball joint where the hand plugs in on the wrist. Now for the torso, thankfully, his vest is made of a softer plastic, so this way when we use the ab crunch, which goes back about that far, creating a huge gap. Yeah, Gogeta has a little bit more range to look up. He can move forward down about that far, rock from side to side, and all the way around. So there's a ball joint and a hinge combo at play there. So let me just uh, fix Gogeta up there. There we go. Good as new. Then we do have a ball joint for the waist. Does it pop out? Nope. Now for the belt. Swivel, so this can spin. Very cool. Hips, double swivel. He can do the splits, fantastic. Where the thighs plug in, we have swivels as well. Double hinge knees, awesome. Barbell style ball jointed ankles which have a better range of movement than some of the other Dragon Ball figure arts who have that style of ankles, and then a toe hinge. So realistically speaking, Gogeta has all of the essentials, and uh, like I'm going to show you in a couple of pictures coming up, he can cross his hands over for a perfect Kamehameha. So yeah, pretty cool. Gogeta's articulation, top notch, except for the neck not being able to support him looking up. He's good accessories time and what do we get here with Gogeta well I told you a little bit about that in the introduction to the review but let's go with a rundown here we get two alternate face plates we get a base form head sculpt and we get three other sets of hands unfortunately we don't get any effect parts so no Stardust Breaker no Kamehameha no energy blasts nothing yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we get. So for the alternate face plates, aside from the stern-looking face, we do get one smirking face, which is classic Gogeta. Well, we're talking about the canon one here, not Fusion Reborn. And then we get one yelling face plate, which is perfect, and it really does capture the essence of when Gogeta is in a fight. You only swap these out just by removing the face plate and putting a new one on. This is more Vegeta swap-out style than it would be Goku with removing the front hair part. Then we do get the base form head sculpt, which, yep, that looks exactly like Gogeta when he first fuses. So, awesome. Now, something a lot of folks are probably thinking, this is just a repaint of the Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt, right? Wrong. If you take a look at the bangs, no, I'm not talking about the one that's hanging over. They're actually different sizes. Yep. And if you take a look at the indentations and the sculpt marks on the base form head sculpt, there are some that are not present here, which are present on the Super Saiyan blue head sculpt. And the face plates for the blue head sculpt do not work on the base form and vice versa. Bandai went out of their way to make a new head sculpt for the base form. Maybe a Fusion Reborn repaint will have a new head sculpt for Super Saiyan? I don't know. We'll have to see. Now for the hand parts, we get Karate Bugman hands, so this way he can get into an action pose. We get Super Duper Splayed hands, so this way he can fire off some energy blasts. And then, of course, we do get the signature Kamehameha hands. Yep, that's it. Mm-hmm. You know how to swap out the hands by this point, especially if you're going to be getting Gogeta, because you need a Goku and Vegeta to go with them. Yeah. So, yep. That's about it. For around the $55-$60 mark, definitely light on accessories, especially when Gotenks 
came with the Kamikaze Ghost, the Donut, a wide array of hand parts. Yes, he's smaller, but still. Then we have the likes of Majin Buu, which is a bit more expensive, but he's got a nice array of accessories as well. Definitely feels like they're holding back here. Maybe we'll get something like the uh, Stardust Breaker when uh, the, the Fusion Reborn repaint comes out, because let's be honest here, they're probably going to do that maybe in a year or so, but still, you guys can recoup the cost. They definitely can. But if you need some accessories like a Kamehameha or maybe some energy blasts, you know I got you covered with a video that's going to pop up as a card in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now we're going to go ahead and round out this review with a size comparison alongside the SH Figuarts Broly Full Power that was released alongside Gogeta. Just so this way you're able to see how they'll fare up on your shelf. And as you can see here, they scale nicely not only with each other, but with some other figures you might already have. So if you want to display your dream Dragon Ball shelf, congratulations, you can. So, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Gogeta does look nice, but unfortunately, he does have some drawbacks, which it's okay to accept that. Not everything can be perfect, with articulation that is rather stellar. Unfortunately for accessory count, we don't get any effect parts, which is rather criminal, because Gogeta does have one signature iconic attack, and it's not present here. It's kinda, kinda eh, they might hold it back for a repaint down the line, but still. We should have gotten something. Overall, this is a rather rock-solid release that fans are already clamoring to get, so make sure you pick this guy up sooner rather than later, and if you haven't secured a pre-order for when this hits the North American shores, I would definitely recommend doing it now. This is a rock-solid release, and with the upcoming Goku and Vegeta releases from Dragon Ball Super Broly, this guy is going to go well with them. Really well. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.